What's up guys, Doe here again, I'm bringing you tutorial number 16, and it will be over, I don't know how to pronounce the name, or I don't know if I'm right, but it's Venetian or Venetian blind, and what it does is it makes the lines on the screen, if I go to full res, makes those lines, and it looks pretty damn awesome, so um, I'm going to to um before I'm gonna do before I start the tutorial on a stress that you want to put it's gonna be on a solid and I'll tell you why. This is my DigiFX I just got. Pretty freaking sweet if you can see it. Yeah there there it goes. So um I'm gonna stress that oh, it's not working. I don't know. Whatever. I'll I'll get to learn DigiFX later. Um, that when you make your Venetian or Venetian, I'm gonna call it Venetian. If you make the blinds, actually, I'm just gonna call it blinds. Um, if you make them, you're gonna want to do a solid, but you're gonna want to put it under your color correction. So I'm gonna take out the color correction for now. And you see that they're everywhere, but when it, wherever you have um like edge blur, and I have it around here. It will take out the edges and not, or the blinds, and I think that looks really cool. So if we drag over here, there are no blinds, and it just starts to fade in because of the blur. And I think it looks pretty cool. So um, I'm going to delete the solid, and I'm going to teach you how to do this. Okay, so layer new solid. Um, yeah, so you have this black solid. Drag it under your color correction, and this should happen. Um, now look up, look up the blinds. I'm not gonna pronounce the name anymore. Um, hold on. If you type in blinds, yeah, if you type in blinds, it should work. And then you have this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the mode to overlay. And we're going to change the opacity to 55. And it looks bad because right now it's at zero, but once we get to like 95, it looks more open. And I'm gonna change the width to like 10. Did that do anything? What's going on? Oh my god! Yeah, there we go. Now it's more noticeable. Might because the opacity is at 55 right now. If I go to 90. It's noticeable, so I'm gonna go to set to 90. Um, opacity, I'm gonna go to 60. And it's all once you actually add on the blinds, everything is personal preference. Um, wherever you want the direction to go, like some people like it diagonal. Um, I like it diagonal, like 45 degrees, so I'm gonna keep it there. Um, opacity seems pretty good, 60. Um, I want it maybe 50. Um, I'm going to make the width like 14. Actually, I'm going to bring back the width. I like it at 10. But I'm going to go to like 95. I want a little less of that. And, and there we have it. I'm going to go to 93. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So there it is. And um, you you might want to make sure to bring down the opacity so it's not too overpowering. Um, I I like the opacity at around 50 to 70, so I'll go to 60, and it looks pretty good. Um, you can also what I what I think is also really cool is if you key from a direction, and you go like three seconds, and then you change the direction from like there to like 90. I think it looks really cool because while you're playing, it's just like slightly moving, or while you're watching the video, it's like moving a little. I think that's cool. So this is how you do the line over the screen effect. Um, it was requested, that's why I did it. Um, and it was over the same footage that I did in tutorial 14, obviously. So um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I like using the blind effect. I'm gonna call it the blind effect a lot more often because um, it just adds like a personal flair to the video that I'm editing. 
Um, you see it a lot more often from me, uh, like in promos and in um, one of my over edits, I added them. Uh, and yeah, so that's the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Two tutorials uh, sucked up, sucked up in one night. Um, I hope they are quality for you. So um, yeah, that's it. How you do the blinds? Um, I hope to see. I say this in every video. I hope that you guys do this and that I can maybe post as a video response and I'll check it out. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.